What's up, fellas? Lady fellas. This is your boy, Rowdy, coming at you with a Fallout video. And today, I'm going to be showing you guys five, yes, that's right, five mods. We are going to have the ARC Atomic Research Complex by Dark Todd, Tracers and Vapor Trails by Shanik the Oat Meme, Targeting Sensors on Recon Scopes by Arcole PC, Long Pipe by Mr. Skinskull, and Trash Buster Sword also by Mr. Skinskull. So with that being said, let's go ahead and hop right into it. First one that I want to show you guys today is going to be the Trash Buster Sword. Now essentially what this is going to add is a retextured version of the board from the vanilla game. Now this is going to boast some incredible stat increases making this a very overpowered weapon but uh, you know a cool one nonetheless. This is going to have 694 damage, 165 poison damage, 330 electric damage, and 165 ice damage. So all that put together is essentially a recipe for disaster. So I'm going to go ahead and show you guys that right now by bringing in a death claw and seeing how well they stack up against this trash buster sword. Let's see. Death claw. Let's do an albino death claw. Come on, motherfucker. Oh! Anyways, that was it. Just the one time. So yeah, as you can tell, very overpowered. Now, um, Mr. Skinskull also gave us another weapon called the Long Pipe. And essentially does exactly what it says, adds a Long Pipe, a... most likely an aluminum retexture of the vanilla pull cue. But, uh, it's gonna boast a, an incredible damage of 694 with 5 electric damage. <clears throat> All these speeds have been increased to very fast. So, uh, if you do end up using these weapons, you know, they will be, you know, very crazy, very overpowering. But, um, yeah, n definitely a really awesome, uh, mod, and if you want a really overpowered weapon to carry around with you, just in case you get into any of those, uh, sticky situations, go ahead and, uh, download these mods by Mr. Skinskull. <laughs> um, this is gonna bring us to our next mod, which is... Very subtle, but uh, very awesome at the same time. So, typically in the vanilla game, we do have tracers. Essentially, every you know few shots, you're gonna have some tracers shoot out. Mainly, this is only gonna be for like the minigun and stuff like that, and maybe the Gauss rifle every now and then. But uh, this is going to add it essentially to every weapon. So, if you notice, every time that I shoot, I'm gonna have a vapor trail or a tracer come out of it. Not a very huge change, but a small one that I definitely like. You know, it kind of makes the uh, the bullets make it. I guess make it seem like you're doing more than you typically are, and uh, I think it's really cool. You know, definitely a really awesome mod to uh, check out if you got the opportunity to. And uh, while we're on that subject, let's go ahead and hop into um, a. Let's see. Let's go for my notch gun. This is going to be the targeting sensors on recon scopes and it's color coded NPCs version so essentially what this is going to do is it's going to highlight make the targeting computers in the commonwealth or not the, the targeting computers the uh, recon scopes that are supposed to be the best in all of the commonwealth it's going to actually make them the best in the commonwealth so if you notice every time I look through the scope friendly enemies are going to be highlighted in green enemies are going to be highlighted in red and Dead enemies and well just dead bodies in general are gonna be in blue So let me guys let me show you guys the uh, blue ones But as you can see everything highlights making everything a whole lot easier Especially if you're a sneaking kind of character, you know you uh, tend to uh, Stick to the dark and kind of move around at night it makes it super easy to kind of like Actually see what you're doing at night Cause this whole uh, gray kind of film grain, pretty much that's it. That's uh, you know, it's great and all, but uh, this definitely steps it up a whole nother level. So uh, yeah, with that being said, let's go ahead and move on to our final mod of the video, which is going to be the ARC. 
Oh, we got some enemies nearby, so that's probably not the best thing to do. So let's go ahead and let's go ahead and get out of here. There we go. So the ARC. This is going to be located at the bottom right of the map. So if you come down here, you'll have these two buildings. You're going to have the ARC and the ARC exterior. Both will be buildable. So you can build on both of these, do whatever you want. It's a large open space, mostly flat ground. You're able to do a lot with this and complete a lot of buildings. You know, kind of make it your own. Really do whatever you would like to with this area. And it's very nice, very set up, kind of, you know, away from everything else. So it can be kind of like a, you know, a getaway for you. If you want like a little private retreat, that's actually a really good, you know, really good way to uh, have a nice home for yourself, I guess. So yeah, here we are. The Atomic Research Center. And as you can see, it is a very, very large area. There will be gates on both ends, and you're able to enter from either side of the research center. So watch, let me show you guys that now. Go ahead and bust down in here. And there we are. This is going to be a large area, and I don't know where I'm at. I think they said that these explode. Oh my god. Okay, so if you get the opportunity to shoot at the mini nukes or the big nukes actually don't do it but um yeah definitely a cool place to work uh you know in your workshop and look around if you uh want a new interior space to work with if the uh mechanist layer and the volt 88 weren't ac exactly the best for you this will definitely be a really cool mod to have because you're able to place anything anywhere inside this place which makes it cool for really any kind of uh you know build that you might have in mind but um, that's going to go ahead and do it for today, guys. If you uh, like the video, if you um, have any you know, ideas for future videos, um, go ahead and let me know. If you liked any of these mods, I will be leaving links in the description. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. And deuces!